Welcome to another edition of Joomla Tips and Secrets. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to go ahead and add a model pop-up inside of Joomla and actually inside of Joomla content. So right now we're looking at a fresh install of Joomla 3.4 and the ProStar template. So here's our Joomla content and as you see when you click on the image, this takes you to the article image. And here's the article image. I've had a few requests for this from customers, say, using J2 Store and other things with Joomla content where they actually wanted this picture here to be clickable and to open up in a model. So now I'm going to show you simply how to do that. So let's go to the back end of Joomla and let's go to our template manager and we're going to go ahead and override the article. So we're going to go to templates, going to select our ProStar details and files, and we're going to go to create overrides. And if you're already using a commercial template from Joomla Ecstasy or Joomla Art or Rocket Themes or anywhere, you'll probably already have the, the overrides. So you might want to check in here in your HTML and find out if you have a com content in the article. Right now, since this is a fresh install, we have nothing, so we're going to go ahead and create the override. So we're going to create override for com content and the article. Now our override has been created. We're going to go to the editor, to our HTML folder, and we're going to see com content, our article folder, and our default PHP. So the first thing we're going to need to do is go ahead and add the JHTML for the model. And that's JHTML and behavior model. And now we're going to scroll down here to the image. And here's where it's rendering the image. As you see, it's a little bit of HTML, a little bit of PHP, but here's our IMG. And then if we look, we've got an if statement, and then it continues here with the SRC. So we're going to want to start here with an ahref equals quote and we're going to go down here to the SRC where it's actually pulling the PHP for the image we're going to copy this out the full text image we're going to put this in our A class for the href and now we're going to add a class to it equals model and then we're going to close the A and it's automatically put the closing A in here for me, so I'm just going to take this out. And I'm going to end it after the SRC. So here's our alt, here's our image prop, and here's the closing div. So I'm going to throw it right in there like that. And now I can go ahead and check and make sure my code's good. Everything looks fine. So let's go ahead and hit save. And let's refresh the front end. And now when we click the image, we have a model. So it's that easy. You could add a model pop-up in just about any override that you want. I hope you found this new session informative, and we're going to see you next time.